Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun shape card to share with you today. Hey everybody, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Build-A-Booth die along with the Build-A-Booth Valentine add-ons, our gnome die sweetheart add-ons and our gnome dies. So fun, fun stuff. And I'm using the Lots of Love um, six inch pad from Doodlebug. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to build the booth and I'm using Gmind Tindalo cardstock from cutcardstock.com. And I cut the planks out of that. Um, the white cardstock is actually Paper Trank white cardstock. So I'm just going to lay down those planks, trying to get everything straight using my um, ATG tape. Now, the other booth that I made, I had the planks going sideways or horizontally. This time I'm using the little planks to go vertically, just for a different look. But like I said, I'm using that same card stock, um, that G-Men Tindalo. I like that it's a wood grain. I like that it's super heavyweight. And I think it looks really great on this super cute little kissing booth. So I'm just quickly lining up all of these little planks. There you have it. So cute. So the card base, or the base of the booth was cut out of that paper drink white card stock, like I said. And there you have it, so, so cute. Then I went ahead and I cut out uh, the word kisses with blush cardstock from Doodlebug. And I'm just going to apply um, art glitter glue to the letters and I'm applying the, the word to the front of the sign. The sign was cut out of paper tray ink white cardstock. And this is just a way for me to get the spacing correct because I, you know, I kind of like it to look like it was meant to look. Now you could easily apply these letters however you want to apply them, right? But I kind of want to give you, you know, a look at what they th were thinking when they created the set. And then you could make things any way you'd like. So I'm going to add that little word kisses to um, my the top of my little kissing booth. Now I'm going to add this heart that was cut from that um, Build-A-Booth Valentine, Valentine add-ons. That is cut out of Sweetheart cardstock from Doodlebug. It's a nice color of a red. I love Doodlebug cardstock because it has like a nice texture to it, which is kind of nice. So I'm popping that up and sort of tilting it off to the side just for fun. And the 25 cents, I'm going to add, that was cut from Swimming Pool Doodlebug cardstock. And I'm just popping that on with my art glitter glue. You know, nice and easy. You gotta love teals and pinks and reds together. I think it looks great. And then I'm going to add these little lips, but I will pop them up. And that was cut out of that same sweetheart paper from Doodlebug. And then here I'm going to add the nice little banner. That's from the Valentine add-ons from the Build-A-Booth. So I'm gonna glue that down. Now obviously you could leave it just like this, right? You don't have to change anything about it. It's perfect the way it is. But I'm going to cut out the hearts and I'm going to add the different colored hearts to the banner just to add a little something something. Right, And I'm going to do that with, um, well, first I'm gonna pop up each of these little hearts. you know. So I glued down the top where the string is, and then I'm going to add a little Stampin' Up Dimensional under each heart, just to add a little bit of air, you know, give it a little bit of dimension, make it look a little, little more special, like I always say, right? So I'm using my pen blade just to slip them under there. And there you have it and um, you know, easy peasy stuff. So I'll be building um, you know, a shape card using this little kissing booth because I think that would just be adorable, right? So there you have it. I'm just going to add in that last little dimensional. And then I'm going to glue down some colored hearts on top of this banner just to make it more, a little more interesting, add a little bit more dimension, right? So that is sweetheart, blush, and then the swimming pool color. And I love the stitching on the little hearts, right? And they're perfect to put on other projects too, right? Now these are the little hearts, um, the little tiny hearts, and I'm going to use those on this little booth as well. And I cut them out of the, those same colors from Doodlebug, and I'm just going to use my Studio Katia embellishment wand to pick them up and put them in place just so they are all down where I like them just popping them right on those little dots of art glitter glue. Just makes things nice and easy. 
And I think that these little hearts just look so sweet. There you go, like just adorable. There you have it. Now I'm taking my black glaze pen from Secura and I'm just going to tap the little nail heads and have them look like little black shiny nail heads, right? Now I could have used, um, you know, brads for this and that would have worked great. But this is just a little bit easier and also a little less dimensional, so a little more flat, right? So I'm just going to tap them all. And then that way they all have, you know, a little bit of color to them. But, you know, it's not so in your face. I love these this black glaze pen to add a little bit of shine and just a tiny bit of dimension. Okay, so now I'm taking a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock. Cut it 4.25 by 11, scoring it at 5.5 inches, and then I'll fold it over to make a vertical A2 sized card base. There we go. And then I'm going to lay that booth die. And I'm going to overlay the cutting edge on top so it bypasses the fold. And that way you've got a shape card now. Look at that. Isn't that fun? I'm going to add on this whole booth that I built, and I'm going to stick it down onto my card base. Right, so I'll use ATG tape and I'll also use Smart Glitter Glue. Now you'll notice that I did use some glossy accents on the lips and on the little hearts and so forth. I did also use Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Pen on the lips just to add a little bit of sparkle underneath that gloss. I just think it adds quite a bit. And then I did use um, a Secure White Jelly Roll Pen to add a few little highlights to those lips just for fun. And now I've got a super cute little kissing booth. So now I'm gonna to put together my little gnome. So I used our gnome dies and I cut out this little mustache and beard from American Crafts cardstock in brown. And I'm just going to ink around it with Distress Oxide ink in ground espresso. There we have it with a little ranger blending tool. Now I'm going to glue down the beard. Remember with the boy gnomes, you always start with the beard first. So you're gonna add on that beard. There you have it. Super cute stuff, right? And now I will add on the hat. The hat was cut out of that um, Doodlebug Love Notes six inch pad. And I'm going to stick that on. It's got kind of like a rainbow look, which I kind of like, right? So I'm just going to make sure that's stuck down well and I will weight it down in between. Now I'm going to add on the little mustache and I do overlap the hat, or the hat a little bit because I kind of like the look of that. There you go. And I will pop up the nose with a Stampin' Up Dimensional. Now the skin tones were cut from um, P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. I know you can't get that anymore, but you know, any skin tone cardstock will work. Now I'm adding on the little bare feet, which I love. Popping them up with some dimensionals, again, from Stampin' Up. So there you have it. So cute, right? And now I'm going to use this little Hershey's Kiss that I cut out um, and that's from the Gnome Dyes Valentine add-ons. You can see me put that together on the uh, Gnome Assembly video from earlier in the week. And there you have it. Now that foil cardstock is from the Chris American Crafts Christmas foil pad and that's in silver. Now I'm going to pop this little gnome holding up, holding the little kiss. I think it's perfect because it's, you know, kisses 25 cents. Then he's got a little kiss that he's holding. Just kind of fun, right? There you go. And I'm making sure that He's got dimension over that banner. And there, isn't that sweet? Now I'm going to add on a few of these Hershey Kisses that I cut out of that same Christmas foil. And I'm gonna slip them behind the planks because I wanna make it look like this is a little booth that are selling kisses, right? But instead of kiss kisses, we're selling chocolate kisses. So I'm going to slip those all in. And like I said, this is like, you know, had I thought of this earlier, I could have easily put them on before I stuck the gnome down, but you know, this is hindsight being 2020, right? Now I will pop that one up so it has a little bit of dimension because remember dimension always adds something to your cards. You know, it helps move your eye around. And there you have it. So he's got a little pile of kisses that are being sold and my gnome is buying some. So these are some Studio Katia three millimeter Google eyes and I'm going to add those to my kisses just for fun. And um, I'm using glossy accents. And I'm going to add on all of these kisses using my Studio Katia embellishment wand because it's easy to pick up um, the Google eyes with the wand, I find, right? Just makes things a lot easier. And I'm 
didn't have that straight, so I had to wipe it off and start again. And remember, you're going to want to put your little project to the side and let them dry really well. There you go. And now I'm going to add on the Google Eyes to all of these little Hershey Kisses. And I try to have them not all in the same place because I think that adds a little bit more interest. There you have it. And then I'm going to pop them all on. So I have that one Hershey's Kiss kind of peeking out from behind his hat. I'm not sure if he's saying buy me or please don't buy me. <laughs> okay, and then I'm adding on these last little eyeballs. And there you have it. So, so cute. And that is all. So I'm just going to show you how it is a shape card that will stand on its own. And that is all. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired. The Jada Blossom store to maybe get your hands on these amazing project or products. And um, as always, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Well, hopefully we will see you soon for my next one. Bye, everyone.